the new tier of Xbox Game Pass has just gone live. This is the Xbox Game Pass Standard Edition. Now, this comes in at $14.99 a month, and there are some limitations here. This is this was announced a few months ago. It's officially live, and it's here, and it's an option for players. I'm on the I'm on the store site here where you can see everything. Now, here's how they are describing the Standard Edition access to hundreds of high-quality games. You do get access to hundreds of high-quality games, which you don't get is access to EA access <laughs> you don't get EA access in this like you do with the ultimate edition and you also don't get all of the day one or newer Xbox game pass games um, so you do miss out there you do get access to to everything else though and there's hundreds of games there you get online you then get all of the discount deals and stuff but you can see that's the standard pass it is changed this is the no man's land option for me uh this is if you absolutely have to get if you have to choose money's tight and you have to get it the value's still there it's still going to be good but if you can afford the six extra dollars the 19.99 a month game pass ultimate is just so much better in my opinion uh, you can see Game Pass Ultimate right here. You not only get the hundreds of high quality games on PC and cloud, that's the other thing. With Game Pass Standard, you don't get access to cloud gaming. You do get access to cloud gaming here where you can play from anywhere. Um, you do get new games on day one. You get all the member deals just like Standard. You also get EA Play membership. Oh, it's not EA Access anymore. That's right. It's EA Play. My bad. My bad. They change the names so frequently. <laughs> Who can tell? This is totally a, a business move. This is a move to get everybody over to Game Pass Ultimate. That's what it is. Uh, I'm not against it. it. It doesn't make sense for me. I'm at $19.99. It's kind of just a non-starter for most people. I see I see who buys this is probably parents looking at Game Pass for their kids, not realizing the difference, for instance, between the $19.99 with Game Pass Ultimate and this. This still gets you tons of access to games, so it's more than good enough, for, for instance, for kids. Uh, but it's it's just not... If you're really into games and you want to get the full benefit of Game Pass, get Game Pass Ultimate. You get everything. You get Cloud. You get Game Pass PC. You get the whole thing. So that's Xbox Game Pass Standard. For, again, $14.99 a month. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think this is a good move? Do you think this is a smart move? Do you see yourself getting this or are you all in on Game Pass Ultimate? Re keep in mind, remember, this is this kind of pricing is done on purpose. The point of this pricing is to get you to upgrade to the $19.99. They want everybody on that top tier, no doubt, or at least as many people as you can get. Now, there is Game Pass Core. If you're really strapped, Game Pass Core is the cheapest at ten dollars and that gets you just 25 over 25 high quality games on console and online multiplayer again no cloud or anything like that and if you're just playing on the pc pc game pass is still eleven dollars it's also super cheap so if you're a pc gamer not none of this applies to you pc game pass gets you everything as well um same as the game pass ultimate it just doesn't let you play those games on console that that sticks it strictly to pc so that's the pricing again just to remind you the, the purpose here is to get you into Game Pass Ultimate or Game Pass for PC. I think they want a lot more PC gamers as well. But Game Pass Ultimate is the goal here. I don't have a problem with this. I don't think it's a bad deal. It's still a fantastic deal. It's just not as good as Ultimate, which is exactly the point of this mid-tier price point. I think having multiple tiers is smart. They've got their, what do they call their entry tier? Their core. Game Pass Core is the entry tier. That's actually, if I was a parent buying a Series S, I would get that for my kids. And then if... If there's games coming out that they really want to play, then I would upgrade to let them play it if I needed to. But that's more than enough for kids, honestly. There's a lot of really kid-friendly content, family-friendly content on Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Core. Standard is an upgrade from that. You get even more games. And then Ultimate is the ultimate. And so that's that. Uh, I think the tiers are good, but would love to know what you guys think. Do you think, do you think this is pointless? Do you see any point here? Do you want it? Do you not want it? Are you subscribed to it? Do you plan to subscribe to it? Or are you on Game Pass Ultimate? Actually, I would also love to know what Game Pass you are subscribed to. Let me know in the comments below there. Would be curious to see how many people have Ultimate. I have Ultimate. I never plan on changing from Ultimate. The value is just there for me for that. On another note, 
We do have some news, exciting news. We have the new update for Forza Horizon, and they have hide-and-seek. And right here, you can see the developers talking about their new hide-and-seek mode. And this just dropped, and this is really exciting. This is what makes Forza Horizon such a great IP and a ton of fun, is they're always dropping new ways to play the game. It's one of the most, the best-supported games out there. It's the cream of the crop when it comes to open world racers like this, when it comes to social racing like this. So hide and seek is exactly what it sounds. It's 5v1 and you hide. The one hides from the five. You have like invisible mode that you can go into. You can cloak. And then when they get close, you uncloak and you've got a race to get away from them. It looks like a blast. These game modes are usually a ton of fun. They have, for instance, tag in Forza Horizon. Then they've got standard racing and stuff. But I love stuff like this. Stuff like this also keeps you coming back to the game. So there's always a ton of players inside of Forza Horizon 5. And I absolutely love it. Have you had a chance to jump in yet? Are you jumping into it? What do you think of Forza Horizon 5? Is Forza Horizon 5 the best Forza Horizon yet? 3 was really good for me. 4 was really good for me. 5 was really good for me. My personal favorite is probably 3 when all is said and done. Although 5 is absolutely fantastic, no doubt. And last but not least, to finish up here, Riders Republic is officially on Game Pass as of today. You can go check it out. Again, this further shows the value of Game Pass. You can see here it's the ultimate extreme sports game. It has everything from biking to skiing to squirrel suits to parachuting to snowboarding and everything in between. Snowmobiling. Look at this. It's a playground. If you're into these types of games, if you're into skateboarding, if you're into extreme sports, it's it's the best one out there. It is two extreme sports. What Forza Horizon is to racing games. Uh, there's just so much to do. I do own this game. I have played this game. I enjoy this game. It's it's an absolute blast. It's a great addition to Game Pass, and again, further extends the value of Game Pass in my mind. So, I highly recommend that. And that does us for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. There's not a lot because we're leading up to Tokyo Game Show again. And just like before Gamescom, everything goes dark and everything goes silent. And I think Tokyo Game Show is going to be absolutely huge. Personally, I think we are going to get some stuff about Final Fantasy for sure. News reports are that uh, some remakes are coming. Final Fantasy VII is the big question mark. I doubt that that comes yet. I think Sony has paid a lot of money to keep that locked up for a little while. I do think we get Final Fantasy XVI, and then I think we get like Final Fantasy Pixels is, is the rumor as well. There's too many of these leaks from pretty credible sources who have been right, who have like a 100, batting 100 track record over the last couple of leaks that they've done, plus Phil Spencer on stage with the head of with what's with Yoshi P is huge. Uh, Final Fantasy Online, Square Enix saying that they're going to bring more of their games to Xbox. They're all in. I think we get something big. I think we get something big here at Tokyo Game Show, and I think that's why we're not seeing a lot of news out there at the at the minute. Would love to know what you guys think about anything we talked in today's video. Though, though blah, 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 blah. I can't. I can't. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.